Back in October of 1997, Melbourne's rail network was split in two, giving way to two new operators, Bayside and Hillside Trains. The latter would become known as... <laughs> In the 1990s, public transport in Melbourne was run down, with very little maintenance going on and improvements were far and few in between. The government at the time, trying to fix these problems, had the idea to privatise the network. The operators would run the services, while the government owned the infrastructure and trains. The way this was done was by splitting the network in two. All this would go down between 1997 and 1999. On October 1st, 1997, the network was split, and Bayside, which would later become known as M-Train, and Hillside took over operations from the Mets. Then in 1999, Connex won the bid to take over Hillside train services from the 29th of August 1999. Later rebranding from Hillside to Connex Melbourne in July of 2000. The split would only last until 2004, when on the 18th of April 2004, Connex and m would merge, making the network whole again. Between 1999 and 2004, Connex was in charge of operating the lines on the Burnley and the Clifton Hill Group. This included Epping, Hurstbridge, Lilydale, Belgrave, Alamein, Glen Waverley, and the odd addition of the Flemington Racecourse line which was on the Northern Group. When M-Train and Connex merged, Connex took control of the whole network, including all of M-Train's former rolling stock and lines. When the network was split between Bayside and Hillside trains, our friend's Hillside was allocated 58 free car Hitachis and 91 free car common sets. And not to forget the single 4D prototype, which to be honest deserves a whole video of its own. In 2002, Connex would take delivery of their new Extrapolis 100 sets to replace the aging Hitachi sets. Today, 212 sets were built and 211 are in service. By the time Connex received their fleet of commenters, they were coming to 20 years in service, and as part of the contracts with the state government, Connex and M-Train had to refurbish their common sets. Connex would choose Alston, and M-Train would choose EDI. Today, 408 free car sets are in service, with 41 being scrapped, and replaced by the new HCMTs. Connex would inherit a fleet of Hitachi trains, which they would have to replace according to the contract. Connex replaced their Hitachis with Extrapoluses, and M-Train replaced theirs with Seaman Nexus. Altogether, 118 free car sets were built, with 48 free car sets preserved. When Connex took over the whole network, they took ownership of all of M-Train's Seaman sets. There's not much to note about the Siemens, except one little thing. Today, 70 sets are in service.
The terms of Connex's contract stated they had to deliver on time, no more than 59 seconds early, and no more than 5 minutes and 59 seconds late services across the network, as well as it had to deliver 90% of all of its scheduled services. And according to this graph, Connex did well at withholding the contract. Their only weaknesses were the year 2009, heat waves, and faulty air conditioning. Connex would pay $70 million worth of fines for poor performance over the entirety of their operations. The year 2009 was the start of the downfall for Connex, with 9 out of 10 trains being delayed or cancelled. This figure was not helped by the 2009 heatwave in January, when Melbourne experienced multiple days of extreme heat, with temperatures exceeding 43 degrees Celsius. This heat affected the rail network massively. With newly built track expanding in the heat, and causing the loss of power at the South Moraine Transmission Station, out of 2,400 services, 750 were cancelled, and the heat caused the city loop to close. The heatwave incident, the decline of performance of services, and an angry public would lead to Connex being replaced by Metro Trains Melbourne on the 29th of November 2009. As at August 2009, Connex operated 15 train lines, 331 trains, 12,909 weekly services and carried 720,000 passengers each weekday. And that pretty much sums up. Mm -hmm.